What did you just say? When I was in that relationship, I'd be lying if I said that I had it all figured out. I had a problem with my self-esteem, my need for acceptance. I felt stuck. So by any means necessary, I had to get out. Dear mom, this is to let you know that I've decided to move out of town. Thank you so much for ruining my life. I'm very upset that I let you run my life, but it's time for me to take over from here. I don't want to spend the rest of my life bitter, angry, and miserable like you. I need to move out of town. By the way, I missed my period. Maria, Maria, for how long? It's me calling. Pick up. Pick up, please. Who was that? It's not one important. How is your mom? Forget about that lady. Please, let's move on. So, what's up? How's residency? How's life? You know, Los Angeles, big city. <laughs> 
you know, residency, uh, new life. Well, we can't complain. God is faithful. Absolutely. <laughs> you have a gorgeous place. So. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, baby. Stop calling me that. I told you not to call me that anymore. You're so funny. Yeah. No.
breakfast. Come on, come down, honey. Okay, okay. Okay. Come down. Okay, okay, I'm coming down. Oh. Is that a problem? Penny, you just surprised me. So, is he getting serious? Yes. He's been such a blessing. He's supportive of me. He treats me well. We talk for hours. And when it's meaningful talk, I think he may propose soon. <coughs> mommy, are you okay? <coughs> mommy, are you okay? Are you okay, mommy? I'm okay, I'm okay. Something just find that the wrong side of my throat. Hmm. Okay. Well, as long as you're happy. Yes, mommy, I am happy. Good. Anyway, I should get them. And that's what I have to make sure you are fine. Oh, mommy, thank you so much. I'll call you tomorrow, okay, mommy? I love you. Teaching on love is very important. It is the power of change to the world. And if we can only learn to love the way God has taught us to love one another, this would bring love towards our enemies. This would also help us to love those who have wronged us, to help us love those who are our friends, and to dedicate ourselves to seeing transformation in people. That is true love. Jesus. Hallelujah, God is speaking to me. God is yes. speaking to me. So challenging yes. for us to yes. I hear that wrong. But then without love, especially the love of Christ, there is no way we will be able to have fulfillment in our lives. I pray that you would understand this love. You will practice this love. You will act this love. And you will be this love. In Jesus' name. Um, preach it, preach it. Mm. The love message. Yes. But she got to do the work of the Lord. Yes, we do. Be careful for sure. Mm -hmm. message. 
will definitely be coming back. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? You look sad. I was just thinking of my daughter Maria. She would have enjoyed this conference. Why is she doing this days? I don't know. She doesn't pick up my calls. Why is that? <laughs> I hurt her. I gave her some advice that led her down the wrong path. How was I supposed to know how to end? Well, we just don't know. You know, I'm sure you thought you were doing the right thing when you advised her. Well, it doesn't matter now. She hates me. My own daughter. I know. So what are you going to do about it? Did you hear? I said she hates me. I know, but you see, in life, anything worth anything is worth fighting for. Don't just let her go so easily. I know I'm right. Come on, let's go grab some lunch because I'm starving. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lunch. Mm -hmm. I hope you're buying this time. Of course, I'll buy. I'll buy. Let's go. <laughs> he was almost in there, Messi. He's been penalized for the challenge on company. Couldn't get out of the control. Big way. There is his to his right. Big way. He's gone through company. Hey! What are these people doing? Nonsense! Can we play better than this? This? Hello? Did I tell you not to call my phone again? I don't want to hear. Don't ever call my phone again. audacity to call me after he helped screw up my marriage it was all his fault and all his idea if not because of him I would not be in this situation I, if I cut if I lay I, my eyes on him I swear to God wait 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 hold up if I remember correctly you were the one who was trying to use your wife as a punch man what look the truth ain't pretty do you want me to lie to you, or do you want me to give you the truth? I'm your friend, and all I'm telling you is just, just think about what you're doing. Girl, that's what I hear saying rolling up in the jacket. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, well. Oh, oh, oh Titan! Buckley's saying this while you see us. Hi. What you doing? Yo, y'all got some wines? They got some wine, mm -hmm. girl. Let's go up and get some wine. Yes. We're coming to get some wine. Let me take away your butter. I was calling to check on you, see if you made it in okay. Yes, I did. It's been good so far. It'll be great when you, hopefully when we get married, we can move together, be in the same city, you know. I can't wait. They started working you already? Yeah. I mean, we, we have a bunch of stuff already. Man, they don't give you no breaks in residency, right? Yeah, you, you know, I was I was reading at the airport and I saw a family of six. That just got me thinking of us having eight kids. You want eight children? Jeremy, you want to kill me? <laughs> You're so funny. We'll have many kids by the grace of God. You know what, I gotta, gotta tell you something. Um, my mom seems to have an issue with you being from another tribe. 
What do you mean? Tribe? Y Yoruba? Yeah, you being Yoruba. Really? I don't know. She always told us she just wanted a godly man. And now it seems like she has so many questions, reservations, and it seems like a problem. So, what are we gonna do? I mean, what can we do? I don't know exactly what they benefit. I can't even tell you. I don't know if it's about learning the culture, learning the tribe of you know their grandchildren. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what to say right now. Yeah. Because I definitely need their consent to move on in the relationship. You know, to get married. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. You know what, baby? I have to call you back because I have a bunch of things here that I just got to go through. Oh, okay. Okay, sure, sure. I understand. Okay, I'll talk to you later then. I love you. Same here. Bye. Try that again. What you think I am, Maria? What are you doing here? What do you want? You know you shouldn't be here. I shouldn't. I know you hate my guts. I do. Did. Did. Sorry. I didn't really mean to use, use Maria as a punching bag. Okay, what do you want? You need to clean up your act. You will have a mess. What? No, I'm not. Uh, two days ago. You was chilling in the gutter. Yes, in the gutter, drunk as a monkey. And then yesterday I heard you was over there going off when your phone rang. What do you care? Well, I'm learning as a Christian, okay, that every soul is important to the Lord. Okay, I'm not willing to give up on you just yet, John. I ain't giving up on you. What? I'm gonna let you think about that and let that sit in, okay? While I was in the bathroom, take care, you know, freshen up a little bit, you know what I'm saying?
someone have to treat me this way, stealing my joy and my happiness. The audacity, right? Absolutely. Honey, I want you to know that I have felt your pain. Mm -hmm. And I've also felt your righteous anger and your hopelessness, your desperation. But look, mm -hmm. I got myself out of that situation as I've heard you have too. But I want you to know that then something strange happened. As time passed, I realized I was still a prisoner. I was harboring resentment, bitterness, unforgiveness in my heart. It was holding me captive. As hard as it is to hear, you will never truly be free until you're able to forgive your aggressor. That is when healing begins. But how? Did you really forgive? I'm back with my husband and I have no fear. But how? Let me tell you something that helped me. 
when God chose you, He chose you knowing the mess that was inside you. The darkness, the sin, the filthy nature. And yet He chose you because He saw something in you. You know that there is a root to every problem. If you can understand that, maybe that'll make it easier to forgive. But weren't you afraid? Absolutely. And I don't recommend this lightly. He has to go through a reformation process. You have to be sure, absolutely certain, that you're safe. But then let God do His work. I'm so afraid. I don't know. But I will be praying for you. I know this is a hard decision to make. And I'll be here if you need me. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we're here. We're here. Well, I don't know why you dragged me out of the house. I told you I don't need no help. Yeah, well, it's Saturday. We had an appointment for Saturday, and it's time. It's time for us to go up in there. You need, you need help. What are you talking about? We don't have an appointment. If I can get you in there, if I, if, if I can get you in there, will you see the lady? If not for your sake, for the sake of Maria. All right, I guess. Let's do this. You follow my lead, okay? Get your stuff on that I ain't shooting with, okay? Shania to the night, baby. How can I help you? No, I can't help you. Now, where you get them shoes from? Yeah, them, them look, look at them horrible shoes you got on. Now, you know them shoes is not good. Them shoes is really, really bad. You can't even see my shoes. I can't see them, girl. That's what's funny, girl. I could hear them shoes from down the street, girl. It's that bad. Now, you know I can help you with the pair too, girl. Put your girls on fashion, guy. Let me tell you something. You supposed to be high class, educated, and all that. I got you. See what had happened was. Come in. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Do you have an appointment? Nah, I just walked in. Is this a prank? Did Joey put you up to this? I don't even know who Joey is. Why don't you tell me who you are? Okay. I'm John Williams. Okay, Mr. Williams, what can I do for you today? I don't know, what can you do for me? Mr. Williams, I don't understand. Why don't you start from the beginning? Well, I got a card I believe came from your office. Do you have this card with you? What? Is um, it, what's the matter? Nothing, just uh, if you just give me a minute. Is everything okay? I just one second. Mr. Williams, it is a pleasure to have you with us today. I'm sorry, you're right. We do have an appointment. I've been expecting you. We actually are supposed to have a series of sessions which should be very useful to you. What are you talking about? Who even gave me this card? That's not important. What is important is that I've been told to counsel you, and all of your sessions have been paid for in full. Paid in full? Yes, in full. So, when would you like to begin? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. I don't need any help. You don't want to tell me anything? I'm out. 
girl, I had told that girl, I told her to chop, 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 and girl, I told her to chop. Well, I can understand that, but if you did that, then don't you think everyone looked very badly? What? Well, relationships, you always have some good with some taking, there's always somebody who's getting with some taking. Can't keep running. This is called Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I don't understand what that girl was talking about. I thought I said. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Who is this? Yeah, yes, ma. Yes, it, it's me, Jeremy. Mm. So you are Jeremy. What do you want? Yeah, I've been I've been trying to talk to you in private. In fact, I almost flew in to, to see you, but funds are kind okay, of... Okay, okay, huh? get to the point. Actually, I just want to let you know that I'm in love with your daughter. Ever since she came into my life, I found a completeness in my life that I've never felt before. Your daughter is such an extraordinary lady. Yes, indeed she is. Mommy, I, I just I just want to let you know that I'm interested in engaging your daughter, asking for a hand in marriage, and we need your blessings. No. Ma. Any girl will marry a evil man. It is the way we have married in our family, and it's going to be the way we we'll always marry our Mo family. I, mommy, I, I'm in love with your daughter. I would do anything for her. I, I think, I think loving her is much more important than just than being from the same tribe. You have my answer. Will there be anything else? Man, girl, you go. I will not want to get nigh. Mom, I, I'm in love with your daughter, and I would like to marry her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Please, please reconsider. Please think about it. I, I'm sorry for for taking your time. Good night, ma. She is hurting. You have to come and see her now. Yes. But she doesn't want to see me. She won't even pick up my calls. That's what she thinks. So you have to show her different. How? You can just show up. Mm. But, but I don't know. If you can't do that, at least reach out to her. She needs you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Mm. I don't want her to hear me, so... I think she just woke up. I've, I've got to go. Yeah, okay. Let me see too. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. I am lost, battling ambivalent feelings of fear, of uncertainty. I have always been a planner, planning everything to the minutest detail. But now, now I don't see the road ahead of me. I live from day to day, hoping, wishing, praying that you will lead me and guide me. Help me, teach me your way, Father and restore her right spirit within me.
Oh, mommy. Hello, Abigail. Are you okay? Yeah, just came back from grocery shopping. Okay. So, Jeremy called me. You spoke with Jeremy? Yes, we spoke. He loves you very much, and because of that, your daddy and I have decided that you can be with him. Yes, mommy, that's wonderful. Oh, mommy, you're so awesome. Okay. You're so, so wonderful and so understanding. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love okay. you. Okay. I love you too. I'll talk to you later. I'll call you. Okay. Thank you, my daughter. We'll speak soon. Bye. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. For reminding me. Okay. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, sure. I'll miss you too, baby. Alright, love you, honey. Love ya! Dear mom, this is to let you know that I've decided to move out of town. Thank you so much for ruining my life. I'm very upset that I let you run my life, but it's time for me to take over from here. I don't want to spend the rest of my life bitter, angry, and miserable like you.
Sean. Come on in. Take a seat. Thank you. I'm glad you changed your mind. So how do we get started? Relax. Let's talk about it. Talk about what? Whatever you would like to talk about. What makes you think I'm going to tell you anything? <laughs> you wouldn't be here if you didn't want to talk. What do you know about me? <laughs> That's not how this works. I ask the questions and you give the answers. So where are you from? Where'd you grow up? Where are your parents? Dead. Really? It's none of your business. Oh, but it is. If you want a true assessment, then you have to give me some answers. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay. You don't want to talk to me? I get that. This is God. You're going to speak to God and you're going to tell him everything about your life. Every little detail. Now I'm going to go speak to the next patient and when I get back, I hope you and God have had a discussion. You have dissociative amnesia. This what? Dissociative amnesia. Repressed memory. Something must have happened in your childhood that was so traumatic you blocked it out. How? What makes you say that? There are gaps in your record. A pattern of gaps, actually, centering around an event when you were nine years old. What are you talking about? Mr. Williams, I've treated many patients. Some have been willingly cooperative, others not so much. But one thing I do understand is the human mind. How to analyze it, how to piece it together, fragments of memory, like a puzzle piece. I can present what your very soul is trying to hide from you. Now I can help you. If you're willing, if you're not afraid, I can lead you to your lost memory. Is this dangerous? The past can be a very dangerous place. But I'll be here to guide you through it. 
Okay, uh, what I gotta do? Are you comfortable? Good. Now I'm gonna start speaking, and as I speak, I want you to picture in your mind the words that I paint. Are you ready? It's the summer of 1992. You're in Somerset, and you've had a long day of playing in the fields. Do you remember? You see it? I see it. Good. Come here, son. Let me see what you got. Put your fist up. Hit him. Right. Right, hit it hard. Hit it with the left. Not the left. That's what I saw. What is it, John? Come here, son. Let me see what you got. Put your fist up. Hit him. Right. Hit it with the left. I'm going to take you a little further. You're asleep, but something wakes you up. What is it? No! I don't know. Yes, you do. What is it, John? I don't know. I can't. I don't want to. It's okay, John. I'm afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. You need to know what's behind it. I'm afraid. John, you can do this. Oh, no. That's right. Go on, baby. You've been looking for an excuse anyway. I'm so tired of you judging me. I'm so tired of feeling like a guest in my own house. You're not even trying to understand me. Because you know everything, don't you, Mr. Big Shot? Yes, I do. I know exactly what you are. What is wrong with you? Don't you even care anymore? Care? Care? That's the last thing I'm worried about right now. Stop yelling. I'll yell if I want to. This is my house. You can get out. Baby, this is our house. Man, you can get up, up out of my house. This is my no, house. No, baby, don't do this. Look this at you. Me. I regret the day I ever laid eyes on you, you snake. Please, Christopher. Get away from me. Please, please. Christopher, please. <laughs> Look what you made me do to you. I'm gonna make you pay for this. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I can hear a baby cry. Where is it? Oh my God! Who are you? So you think you can leave me alive for somebody else? Give me my baby. No. Give me my baby. No. Let me pass. Give my baby. No. My baby. My baby. No. I'm not married to you. I'm married to Jesus. No. Give me my baby. No. My baby. My baby. My baby. No. My baby. No. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, God, God, I have this dream every month, every month, every month. Uh, no husband. Uh, I've been feeling very hopeless. 
Anthony, I am so sorry that you have gone through all this. I promise you, though, there is always to hope. I'd like to believe that, but I don't see it. I know there have been all these horrible things. But rather than focusing on the things that you can't fix, maybe you can think about those things you can fix. Like what? What about your mother? Oh. No. You know, she's dead to me. She doesn't exist. I put bridges with her a long time ago. I definitely don't want any association with her. Please. Maria, she made mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, and I know it hurts the most when it happens from someone we love. But at a time like this, when you've been through so much, don't you think you need your mother? Would you at least call her, give her a chance? I, I'd be lying to you if I said I would just do that. I don't think I can do that. I, I don't want to talk to her. You think I'll be able to survive? Look, I understand. Would you at least pray about it? You know, praying, praying doesn't seem to be a bad idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll give it a shot. It's tough for me, honestly, but it doesn't hurt to pray. Maybe God can help me. I don't know. Stay with me in the guest room. Girl, you know you're my girl. Anything for you. Thank you. You know, it's not easy going through a miscarriage with all the things that are going on with you right now. <sighs> Honestly, I don't even want to think about those now. I just... At least you can have kids. You can get pregnant. Wait, what do you mean? <sighs> my dear, you know, Jeremy really wants kids and it's like, he seems to keep eluding me. You know, I fight this spiritual husband battle first. I overcome, I get married, and now it's preventing me from getting pregnant. It's like, when would this battle ever end? But it hasn't even been that long. Yes, my dear, but I am fighting a battle. It would have already been if I was not in that battle. I'm telling you. If only we could just pray and just yeah, hope that know. God will just get us out. Get us out of all these challenges. That's all we can do. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can pray. Let us pray. Pray, pray, pray. Father in Jesus' name. Amen. Just thank you for my wonderful, wonderful sister.
quickly I examine my life. Who did I offend that I didn't forgive? Hello, Maria. Hey, you called me. I'm, I'm sorry, I know I should have called sooner. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. I just, I just want to apologize. Maria, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for everything that happened to you. You are not even supposed to be here. You're not supposed to exist. What do you mean? I had you at a very young age. Your father said I was trying to ruin his life. Even before it started. What about my life? Okay. Anyway, he didn't have finances for school and a family. Talk less of marriage. So he asked me to terminate the pregnancy. To abort you. Oh, wow. When I refused, he left. My family practically disowned me for bringing shame to them. Those were dark, bitter, painful, penniless days. I had to find a way to survive and look after you. Oh, mom. No, 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 let me finish. It is about time that you hear these things. Because I know the pain of poverty, when I saw John Williams with his power and money, I thought he was the best for you. Because I knew you would have no problems with money. I didn't know it would turn out like this. Mom, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. I am so sorry for everything that you went through. Please forgive me. Forgive your mother. Oh, mommy. I'm sorry you went through all this. So far, brothers and sisters, I believe that God Almighty can do a miracle here right now. This day. As therefore, this is the right time for change from the words you have heard. Amen. Now I know that God Almighty has appointed this time, this moment, this season to set somebody free. Amen. It is time of deliverance. Amen. For somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe that, give the Almighty God a clap. For you. Pastor Christie said you need to tap into the blessings of God that have been coming this season. This is the right time. The mercy of God is available this morning. Amen. His grace is also abundant this morning. Amen. And His mercy is ready to cover the multitude of sins. Amen. And this can only happen when we are in the end of our sins. Amen. When we confess our sins. Amen. You have to take the step. You have to seize the moment. Somebody says, seize the moment. Seize the moment. And I don't care how long you have been in the faith. Anybody can make a mistake and fall. But the right approach is for you to come to terms with who you are in Christ Jesus. And you have to come repentant with a godly sorrow and hand it over to the Almighty God. I'm sure I have people in the house today who want to do that. Do not be ashamed. The Lord is calling you to Himself to repent. Please come forward. This is the season. This is the time. This is the moment when God is ready to set you free. If I have such people in the congregation, please come. 
and God is looking for you. Please come. Yes, come in. John, sit down. Look at you. Thank you. You're looking good. Thank you. Well, I never thought I'd be here again. Mm. I heard about you and Maria. You don't have to tell me anything. The important thing is that you're here. Do you know everything? <laughs> I know you have been drinking. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was only drinking because I really miss her a lot. No, you cannot put that on her. I know you, John. It's been, I'm sorry, it's been hard. I know you have gone through some scary moments. I tell you what's scary. Love is scary. Hmm. Letting go and, and just committing yourself to someone and you don't know where it's going to end you. John, you've got to let it go. Is there someone in your life you need to forgive? Forgive? I'm not gonna forgive. Really? <laughs> Let me tell you something, John. Everybody comes to a point of healing and letting go. And you cannot do this by fighting. And you think you have been winning by fighting God. I tell you something about God. God does not force anybody to do anything. God has not chosen us because we are strong, but because we are weak, so that He can make us strong. John, don't be afraid. Yeah, just sometimes, you know, I, I, I feel like God is not out there. <laughs> it's hard. Listen, John, God is out here, He's here. Is everywhere. All you need to do is play your own part, and God will play His own part. Right? Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, baby. What's up? Baby, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, so, so what's going on? Baby, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> what? I had to tell you a cougar for you to get back. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? you were here. When did you find out? I just found out. Oh my god. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. I know. I love you too. I'm so excited. I can't wait to be back. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. I can't wait for you to get back. I love you too. Bye. <laughs>
up, Dad? You want to take a walk? Yeah, we can take a walk. That's good. How are you? I didn't think you would come. I didn't think I'll be here either. I said to myself, the next time I saw you, I was gonna kill you. What you did to mom? You broke her, man. Well, I'm here. I didn't see you at the funeral. I was there, watching from afar, but I was there, son. So what do you want? I want you, I love you, son. But you want me to spell it out? What? You think I'm gonna make this easy on you? You just disappeared. I couldn't find you. I thought you were dead. But I didn't want to be found. What I did to your mom, son, it broke me in two. It tore me into peace to where I went to scream and scream and just never stopped screaming again. There were demons inside of me to where I couldn't control. And they shaped my past and to where I took it all out on mom. Making excuses. No, I take full responsibility, son. What I did to your mom, I destroyed her life. And I didn't want to do the same to you, and so I ran. But you didn't even care what happened to you. I watched you from afar too, son. I watched you as you struggled through school. I watched you graduate, start a business. Marry a beautiful woman. You're a good person. You're a good man, son. Then I saw you battle with demons that you could control, but you weren't able to see. You start to take your anger out on your wife. I made peace with myself. As of I. So have I, son. I forgive you. Thank you, son. Thank you. Look. This is where your wife is living in Los Angeles. I fought my battles. I found you. Now you must fight yours. Good luck, son. I love you. Love you. I'm not here to hurt you, please. Just talk. I just want to talk, please. I'm listening. You're making me nervous. Can you sit down? Please. I just want to talk, I promise. I'm not going to touch you. You can even keep the knife. I will not hesitate please. to touch you. Please. Please. If you try anything funny. Please. I swear I'm to God. I'm listening. I'm not, I'm not here to hurt you. Okay. Okay, sit over there. Okay. <sighs> that are just out of, outside of our control, that are generational things. And that is no excuse, but uh, I've made peace with what I've, I've done and I just wanted to come and ask you for, for your forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Hopefully you find some way within your heart to forgive me. I actually met my father. That was dead. Well, he was dead to me upon all the abuse inflicted on my on my mother. I just you know I had to forgive him. John, please don't give me false hope. Please. I'm not giving you false hope. I just wanted to come and apologize to you face to face. 
to let you know that I'm very and truly sorry about the way I treated you. That's all I wanted to say and um, I'll leave you now. Wait. You know, I've been having dreams and the last dream was different. You were different. I just want you to know that I want to love you with everything inside. Okay, God. As I sit here and write, my heart is filled with joy, for you have turned my morning into dancing. Look at the great things you have done in my life. The psalmist says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Some people often ask me if I ever look back at my life and have any regrets. And my answer is... No. Come take my journey into night Come be my shadow to wake me